Hey guys, today is another add-on of my Millipede Survival Paracord Bracelet type thing. Uh, this is actually a Millipede Survival Paracord Key Fob. Um, so, it is based off the design of my bracelet. Um, as you can see, a comparison displaying. Um, and that's just a side-by-side. -side. That, that picture is actually the first key fob that I made of it and I sent that to my father um, just just to give to him and this one is just one I made and you just put it on your keys and you can either put it like this with the knot on here for rapid deployment or on here but you would have to undo and then you'd have to take it off your keys and then um, deploy it but it's about four feet of cord and you just pull and then you got the cord and then you just take it off the keys and there you go it's ready to use of course you would have these cut off and the ones on the um, on the cord that I on the fob that I just showed but uh, since I don't have that much uh, extra small scrap cord that's four feet I mean that's two feet each and I'm just using this so I don't have to cut off anymore but uh, this is really simple and uh, all you need is four feet of paracord um, two feet each um, I always cut my cord a little longer than it needs to be or than my measurements but you see, just four, I mean, two feet each. Uh, go ahead, put your keys aside, and um, get your get your cord out. Now, what the measurements are, um, I have a little rig that I made to do my bracelets. And actually, um, my bracelets are all th uh, um, are for sale down in the description below. Um, and those are the authorized people to sell them. But as you see, just a little rig I have. And actually, for that end knot, um, I was going to go ahead and show you guys how to make it right here. Um, so you take one um, end of your cord and then put it on your ruler and then measure out five inches. So right here is five inches for me. So there we go, five inches. And then you just put your finger there again. And then measure out um, three and a half inches right there, as you see. Um, put it on the one, like zero inch, and then put it to three inches, three and a half inches and then put your finger there again and then do three and a half more inches and there you go so that a length right there is the um, what you need to do so then once you have your finger still on that five and a half three and a half and three and a half which is your end right here then you just move up a little and then twist your cord and then put it where your old finger was and then put the um, the uh, edge of the cord that you just measured out put that through the um, loop in there to make a slip knot and then tighten it up now you need to measure out this um, small piece of tag in cord and then measure that out five inches which is right there then you need to, then you need to make sure this um, loop right here is the same three and a half inches that you did before and as you can see um, it is well let's go ahead and zoom in there
so you see I know you can't see the one inch mark but it is um, three and a half inches so do that same thing with your second cord measure out the five three and a half and then three and a half and then repeat the uh, slip knot process okay so once you have your uh, loops the same size and the five inch tag strings down here then um, you go ahead and put it on a um, like a rod or something that you can put pressure on like this right here where you can pull it and tie at the same time or you, um, if you just have some like scrap wood or go out and buy some wood you can um, make what I did and just a little simple rig here but what you want to do first is uh, get your tag ends together right here make sure they're in the middle and then tie a little um, loop but make sure you don't move any of the string at all because then that'll just mess up everything so you just tie like an overhand knot and don't mess with the dimensions make sure they are still the same there we go and make sure they line up correctly then you just put on your little device and then this little block here puts tension on the uh, rig or on the paracord so you see right here it's just I pull back and it puts tension on it so just tighten this down real quick and then you go about the same process of making the um, bracelet uh, just the same way alright so um, I just had to get into a different position because the way I have to do this um, with the rig I have but you can just put it on like uh, a piece of rope or something and then put tension on that from something else and then start tying but uh, I just do this because I don't like my cords to be twisted um, and it's just way simpler what you do is um, you just do the same way you do with the bracelet and you can just go over so you see I go over these four strands and then under under them and then back through the same loop and then tighten it down then you do the same thing on the opposite side since you went over you want to go over on the opposite side and then back under and then tighten so once you have that down then as you see um, I don't know if you can't really tell there but uh, it's the string is pointing upwards so that means you want to go downwards and when we go um, when we get up here some ways you'll be able to tell and I can show you better but whatever way the string is going or for now it's just easier to remember it as um, do the opposite of what you did before so I did over before now I want to do below the strings and then up through the loop so just do that and then do um, below and up through the loop so you can see it's kind of building already and you want to push down the paracord as you go along so if you can see there it's coming out below the uh, key fob so you want to go above the strings so just above 
as you see I just threw it over put it under and then pull it through the loop that you made and then tighten down and do the same thing on that side over below tighten under above under above and you want to push down all the string um, to um, make it look better so there we go it's going down as you can see so you want to go above now I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward so you can see the whole process alright so you see here I have finished a bracelet and that took me uh, about I don't know a minute or two um, but uh, this is real simple so there is what it looks like um, of course I haven't cut it or sized it down yet um, but uh, you see you have these uh, two right there you have these the two loops that you made earlier and then you just want to take those off um, and so you're left with this looking thing and then you wanna um, pull these this extra string not all the way through but you wanna make it the, the loop just a little small so hopefully you guys will be able to see here um, and I'm just pulling it I can't do it like that but um, just pull through a little uh, and then get it to where you think the loop is a good size so right there and that is about one centimeter then you want to pull uh, tighten the strings down these side strings tighten them down really hard um, really tight and then so as you saw earlier uh, there was just one loop and that is because I pulled the other one through and uh, what you want to do well I didn't pull it through all the way but I just pulled one of these strings so I'll go ahead and untighten the but you just pull one string um, and as you can see that looks good enough for me uh, then you just want to reposition that one loop and then tighten down everything make sure it's all good to um, to um, burn but uh, you don't want to tighten it I mean you don't want to cut it yet because you have to still tie that knot I showed in the beginning and uh, I'll go ahead and show you now alright so here we almost have our finished product and it's looking good so far um, just make sure you keep tightening these down so they don't pull through but you need to do one loop just like that and then take your right string and then put over that loop under that string and then put these two loops just like so put your the string you're handling over under itself and through 
Now you don't tighten it up all yet. Um, you want to make sure you do pull the extra string all the way through. So there we go, it looks good. Now you want to take your right string, go under, and then through that center hole that you should have. Oh, that light burns. So, you see, oh, that's so hot. You see, I just pulled it through. And then you take your, the left string that you haven't touched yet, put it under, you see under this one, and then under the whole thing and then through the hole that you did the other string. So, should come out looking just like that then you pull it through and then make sure you pull the uh, string through all the way and then what you're gonna have to do now is just tighten it all up and uh, then you'll be ready to go alright so after I tightened up this uh, loop I mean this knot here called the stopper knot um, you just wanna clip off everything and then burn it um, but actually if you don't know how to tighten this up you just follow this string right here pull the the same string throughout the knot and then pull up then you do the same thing for the opposite side and then so as you see there it uh, looks pretty good and there's a side view and then actually just uh, cut everything so go ahead I'm trying to do this behind a camera pretty hard but you just want to cut it preferably with scissors because uh, you won't get a uh, a close cut with the um, a knife and I have my fan on so sorry about that I had the fan on but uh, as I was saying, you want to get a close cut with um, a knife. And then you just want to simmer these. And then looks good right there. Fill it focus. There we go. Looks pretty good. Then you want to cut these. And actually, with um, that knot. You can still use the cord when you deploy it, um, just as the bracelet when you deploy it, you can use the knot right here with it on. You don't have to undo it and then retie it, or you don't have to use the cords separately. But, uh, so you just burn them. Okay, so there is your finished um, key fob, whatever you want to call it, I call it key fob because it's a key fob, um, but that is it, it's finished, um, and I'll show you, you just put it on your keys, um, just that, um, split ring, uh, if I can do it, there we go, you should know how to put stuff on your split ring. Uh, and then you just put it through there you go it is on your ring uh, and this is just a monkey's fist I might be taking that off since I have this on there now um, and then actually what you can do is put another ring onto this one, which I will show you. So you see it's just like an extension. You could put another uh, key on here if you want to use it separately. Um, but that is it. That is how you make the Millipede Survival Paracord Key Fob. And that is it. If you have any questions, just comment down below or send me a message. And I'll be glad to respond and talk. Uh, please 
like and subscribe and uh, everybody have a nice day. See y'all later.